Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Uh, so it looks like the monster truck pattern has won the voting. Um, it's a great pattern so I'm excited to uh, do this one with you guys. So I just wanted to show you guys uh, what the pattern looks like if you guys were to uh, purchase it from the Etsy shop. Um, so the hook size is an H. Uh, we're doing it in single crochet and it has 140 stitches across and 160 rows down. So it's a little wider than the unicorn blanket, um, but it's shorter. So this would be the front page. And then you get three methods when you uh, purchase the pattern. So the first one is the written. So you're gonna get the written form. And then you're also going to get the color blocks. I find a lot of people like following the color blocks. Um, and you're basically just following how many stitches of that color. So it's pretty easy to follow. And then of course you get the graph, which I didn't print off. So I'm gonna, I'll show you guys what uh, colors I'm going to be using for the pattern. So for the light gray color, um, always Bernat Premium, love this yarn. Um, and this is in the color Soft Gray Heather. And then for the dark gray, we'll be using Dark Gray Heather. For the yellow, I'll be using a uh, yellow balloon and then for the red um, Burnett Premium as well in the red and rich red or in, in any red that you guys choose um, I'm not saying you have to follow these colors um, these are just the colors that I'm choosing totally up to you what you guys decide um, and then, of course, you're going to need black and you're going to be needing white. So I will go ahead and show you uh, the beginning of the pattern. Okay, so to start the pattern, you're going to chain 141 stitches. And then you're going to, once you have your 141 stitches, you're going to single crochet in the first stitch from the hook and then into every chain all the way to the end and then you're going to chain one and turn. So there's another way that you can do this instead of chaining and then single crocheting and it's called the chainless foundation. So what you're going to do is you're going to chain two And then you're going to go into that first stitch and make sure there's two loops on the hook. So right now you should have three, so one and then two right here. And then you're going to pull through, pull through one, pull through two. That's one chain. So now you're going to go into the first stitch there, pull through, pull through one, pull through two. That's two chains. Going through the two loops there on the top, pull through one, pull through two. So that's three chains, or technically three single crochets. You have your foundation right here and your single crochet. So you guys can do it that way if you'd like, and it does count as row one. So at row one, it's just 140 black stitches. So you guys can either chain one or sorry, chain 141 and then single crochet into each chain across and you should have 140 stitches. Um, or you can do it this way, which is faster. 
and you should still have 140 uh, black stitches. And I want you to have 10 rows of black. Um, so 140 stitches across and have 10 black rows. And then that's we're going to go into row 11. So we're going to go into row 11 when we come back. So this is the portion that I would like you guys to do. And then meet me back here for row 11. Okay, so I did the 10 rows of black. And I just wanted to give a little tip. Like I just highlight the rows when I'm done to keep track on uh, what I'm doing. So we did the... 10 rows of black. So now we're going to move on to row 11. For row 11, we're going to do 69 black stitches. So going into that first stitch. So we're going to do 69 and then you're going to need a white bobbin and a black bobbin and I will meet you there. So I did uh, the 69 black stitches so now I'm going to be adding in a white bobbin. You're going to hook it on and pull through the two loops. And give it a generous tail. So we're going to do 10 black stitches. And then you're going to need a black bobbin as well when we come back. Did 10 white stitches. So now I'm going to be adding in a black bobbin. And we're going to finish row 11 with 61 black stitches. So do 61 black stitches. Make sure you chain one and turn at the end of uh, each row. And then to begin row 12, you're going to do 60 black stitches and I will meet you at the white bobbin. I did. So now we're on to row 12. So I did my 60 black stitches at the beginning of the row. So now we're going to do 12 white. And you're also going to need another white bobbin and black bobbin for this row if you want to get that ready. So we have one black stitch remaining. So we're going to go into that stitch, one under that loop, two, three. So you're going to do 12 white and I'll meet you at the black bobbin. So I did 11 stitches and I wanted to show you um, when you have to go into one of the black stitches. So that's 11. So you're going to want to pick up that bobbin and go into that black stitch and grab the white one and pull it through. So that makes 12 white stitches. So you're basically picking up that black bobbin and we're going to carry it with us. So because we picked it up, now we have it right here. So now we can do 10 black stitches. Okay, so do 10 black stitches and then you're going to need a white bobbin and you're also going to need a black bobbin. 
Okay, so now we're going to be doing nine white stitches. So you're going to be adding in another white bobbin. So we're going to do nine. Working over that tail once. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So now we're going to need a black bobbin. And to finish row 12, you're going to do 49 black stitches. To begin row 13, you're going to do 38 black stitches. And I will see you there. So now we're on to row 13, and I began that row with 38 uh, black stitches. So we're going to be adding in another white bobbin. We're going to do two white stitches. One, two, and we're going to need another black bobbin. We're going to do eight black stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, which leaves a black space there. We're going to do 11 white stitches. So going under that loop into that black space. That's one. Bringing that loop over, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're going to be picking up that black bobbin, so picking it up, going into that black stitch, and grabbing the white, and that makes 11 white stitches. So with the black, we're going to do 8 black stitches. So I did eight black stitches. Now we're going to do 14 white stitches. We do have a black stitch remaining. So going under that loop into that black stitch, one, under that loop into that white space, two, and keep going down the row and do 14 white. Okay, so I know I said 14 stitches. Um, I did 13. I just wanted to show you again when you have to go into that black stitch. So I have 13. Make sure you pick up that black bobbin going into that black stitch and finishing it with the white. Okay, so that's 14 white. So now we're going to do 13 black. And then you're going to need um, another white bobbin and another black bobbin. So do 13 black. 
So I did 13 black. So now I'm going to be adding in a white bobbin. And we're going to do five black five white stitches. Working over that tail once. One, two, three, four, five. Going to be adding in a black bobbin. So we're going to do 41 black stitches to end row 13. To begin row 14, you're going to do 40 black stitches, and I will see you at the white bobbin. Now we're on to row 14, and I did 40 black stitches, and there's one black stitch remaining. So now we're going to do 8 white, going under that white loop into that black stitch, it's one, under that loop into that white stitch, two, three, four, five, six, picking up that black bobbin, seven, picking up the black bobbin again, eight. So that's eight white stitches. Now we're going to do 11 black stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Going to do 14 white. Going under that loop into that white. And do 14. I did 14 white. So now we're going to do seven black, going under that loop, and do seven. I did seven black, so now we're going to do 13 white, and there is a black stitch that we need to work into. So under that loop, into that black stitch. So that's one, bring that loop over. It's two, so we want to do 13. I did 13 white. I did go into that black stitch by picking up my black bobbin. Maybe I didn't. I'll show you that. So picking up that black bobbin. There we go. So now we want to do seven black. Two, three, four, five. Seven. We're going to do seven white as well. Going under that loop. One, two. This is where we're going to be picking up the black bobbin and we're actually going to carry it through the whole um, white stitches. Okay, so we did two. We're going to pick up that black bobbin. We're going to go into that black stitch. 
so that's three. So if you just put that black bobbin kind of on top of the stitches and you will just work normally in the stitches and it will carry with you. So we did three, four, five, six, seven. See, now the black is where we need it to be. So now with the black, we're going to do 33 black stitches, which will finish row 14. And then for row 15, you're going to begin that row with 31 black stitches. Now we're on to row 15, which will be the last row for this video. So I did 31 black stitches. So now we're going to do nine white stitches and you should have two black stitches remaining that we need to work into. So under and in that black stitch, one under into the black stitch, two under into the white stitch, that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're going to do six black. One, two, three, four, five, six. You have a black stitch remaining. We're going to do 15 white. So going under and then that black stitch. That's one under into that white stitch. That's two. So you're going to do 15. I did 15 white and I did go into that black stitch and picking up the black bobbin at the same time. So now with our black bobbin, we're going to do six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And with our white bobbin, we're going to do five. And you're also going to need a, a black bobbin and a white bobbin and probably another black bobbin. I'll tell you when you need them. So we just did six blacks and now we're going to do five white. So under that loop into that first white stitch. One, two, three, four, Five. We're going to add in a black. We're going to do four. Working over that tail once. So one, two, three, four. Gonna need a white bobbin. You can do five. One, two, three, four, five.
So now we're going to do a re-black. One, two, three. You're going to need a white bobbin. We're going to do six white. One, two, three, four, five, six. You're going to need a black bobbin. We're going to do two black stitches. One, two, And do eight white. Under that loop, into that first white stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. To finish row 15, you're going to do 40 black stitches. And this is the end of part one. Hopefully I didn't go too quickly for you guys and that you guys are enjoying it so far. Um, hopefully we can get more subscribers and people to uh, tune in. Um, I love reading your guys' comments, so don't be afraid to comment down below and talk to me, ask me questions. I love answering you guys. Um, also, in the description box, I will leave the link uh, where you can purchase this pattern if you, if you want to. Or you can continue uh, following me. I will try and upload as many parts as I can as soon as I can, because I'm working on this uh, with you guys. Um, and I haven't done this pattern yet, uh, so I'm also working along with you guys and uh, learning as well. So let's, uh, let's get her done, and I will see you guys in the next part. Thank you.